Coming up, the team of the year. If you've only experienced harsh malt liquor taste, it's time to change. King Cobra is the only malt liquor that's so good when the taste grabs you. It's a different breed, it's quality. King Cobra is cold malt liquor satisfaction in a smooth taste. Don't let the smooth taste fool you. Who could brew a malt liquor that does all this? Only number one, and a Bush. Remember, don't let the smooth taste fool you. Come on along, I'll take you to the lullaby of Broadway. Hippery and Valley Who. The lullaby of Broadway. And in the center of it all is the Milford Plaza. The Milford Plaza Hotel. Great food, beautiful rooms, irresistible prices tell you why we are the lullaby of Broadway. The Milford Plaza is the lullaby of all Broadway. My wife was having our second child, and uh, so Anthony and I were on our own. And we went to the store, and I picked up a bargain baby shampoo, not Johnson's. I thought I was just helping out, but we used it, and Anthony got some shampoo in his eyes, and he began to cry. And uh, I felt awful. They may say baby shampoo, but many bargain brands sting, irritate eyes. Only Johnson says, no more tears. No more tears isn't just an ad slogan. It's very real. We're sticking with Johnson's. In this year's NCAA championship game against Georgetown, Villanova held the ball for over 11 minutes. That won't be possible in next year's tournament, which will institute a 45-second shot clock. The upset in the world of sports is the victory that's unanticipated, unexpected, and unimaginable. In 1985, the upset of the year came in college basketball, to be more specific, in the NCAA basketball championship. Billy Packer tells us now of the year's most improbable fairy tale. No matter how your heart is grieving, if you keep on believing the dream. Tale finishes are an NCAA tournament tradition. Remember 1963? Little Loyola of Chicago knocking off powerful Cincinnati in overtime. And three years later, the University of Texas El Paso played mighty Kentucky and shocked the Wildcats 72 to 65. And how about that shocking finish just two years ago when Lorenzo Charles lifted North Carolina State over Houston in a storybook last second fashion? Obviously, there have been a number of Cinderella stories in NCAA tournament history, but 1985 and Villanova University may have topped them all. They were 19 and 10, had floundered during the regular season. As a matter of fact, with one week to go, had been blown out of the gymnasium by the University of Pittsburgh. They did not win the Big East tournament. And on Selection Sunday, there were those of us that felt they might not even make the field of 64. They did make it. And then came the month of March. And like Cinderella at the ball, Villanova was transformed. On March 15th, it was Dayton and Dayton. They got this basket with just over a minute left and held on for a two-point win. Ranked number two in the country, Michigan was next. But Villanova was not intimidated. Instead, a championship chemistry began to click. I think uh, at the point when um, we uh, beat Michigan, I think that was a, a big game for us. And at that point, I think we just got so emotionally tied up in the game. And after the game, we just felt that, hey, this is it. That emotional surge helped beat Maryland. But with a trip to the Final Four at stake, Massimino's team trailed North Carolina by five at halftime. Uh, with Coach Massimino, uh, you never really know what to expect at halftime. And, and he just uh, exploded at halftime. And it, it really motivated us. Uh, and it's something that we needed. Raleigh's halftime tirade hit home, especially for Harold Jensen. He's the man. Jensen again. Wide open is Jensen. Two more. It all added up to a trip to Lexington. And now the dream is there. Raleigh Massimino is going to the final four. 
The glass slipper fit a funny-looking princess, but it was fact, not fiction. That a team built on talent, hard work, and an uncommon amount of love was heading for college basketball's biggest dance. On March 30th, Memphis State fell under the Villanova spell in the semifinal game. It almost seemed easy compared to the first four. But standing in the way of a championship was one very big obstacle. Patrick Ewing and Georgetown. A combination with two victories over Villanova during the season. Even though March was over and it was April, the magic held for Villanova. It seemed they just couldn't miss. A record 78.6 shooting percentage. The Wildcats, led by seniors Ed Pinckney and Dwayne McLean, had their biggest triumph. Of all the Cinderella teams in tournaments past, this one earned a special place. No matter how your heart is grieving, if you keep on believing, the dream. Coming up, a final look at the faces of 85. That chili you had for dinner has just started a three-alarm fire inside you. Alka-Seltzer to the rescue. Alka-Seltzer goes to work instantly to take the burn out of your heartburn and also quiet the sirens in your head. So when your body is sending you smoke signals, send Alka-Seltzer to the rescue and put out the fire fast. Alka-Seltzer to the rescue. Nowadays, when a businessman gets stuck in his car, he doesn't have to be just stuck in his car. He can be talking to a client or a prospective client or be in touch with his own office. He can be doing a million different things if he has our mobile net cellular car phone service. Just imagine how much more productive you could be with mobile net. G. No, GTE. Everybody who builds trucks likes to talk tough, but only one talks tough and proves it. Dodge. Dodge has behind every one of these truck parts for five years of 50,000 miles. Now, how many parts does Chevy and Ford back for the same amount of time? Sure, the others talk tough. Dodge proves it. Dodge. Still America's best back trucks. That's guaranteed. As we have taken our trip through this year in the world of sports, We've seen the triumphs and disappointments that are the staples of competition. But there have also been the heart-wrenching tragedies. Losing a childhood hero like Roger Maris to cancer. Or a young rising star, hockey player Pelle Lindbergh, to an automobile accident. Who could have known that we'd see such intensity brought on by the will to win infect those watching a soccer match as the game turned into a war? The tragedy of sport is something we must accept. But what we choose to remember are the faces of our champions, who are, even in their diverse arenas, so very much alike. While an American named Pete Rose swings a baseball bat, Frenchman Bernard Hinault pedals a bicycle, and both are hailed as national heroes. As Kareem Abdul-Jabbar chalks up his fourth championship, 17-year-old Boris Becker captures his first. The old and the new, the smiles and the tears, and through it all, the passion to play the game. So as we face yet another year, we leave you with the most memorable faces of 1985. The faces of victory. The game faces worn by achievers, champions, and heroes of Special edition of CBS Sports Saturday has been sponsored by Budweiser. Beechwood aged for that clean, crisp taste. This Bud's for you. And by Kentucky Fried Chicken. Kentucky Fried Chicken. We do chicken right.